I am literally in desperate need of restocking on my self-care item, getting some hygiene essentials. I really just want to try new products. I'm gonna tell you guys what products are worth it and what products are just overall overhyped, what you do not need to spend your money on versus what I would actually recommend. I'm going to give myself a budget for this video. I cannot go over $130. I made myself a list of the things that I absolutely need. With that said, let's go self-care shopping at Target. I just got a car and for once it is not like the loudest one which I'm actually feeling so happy about. We are in the makeup section right now. So my Target has Elf Maybelline Milani Cover Girl and a bunch of like other familiar drugstore products. We don't really have high end. So from Maybelline, my go-to is this Fit Me Concealer, which I actually do need to restock. I don't know if I'm going to buy this though. Probably gonna look around and see if they have any other concealers because I just really want to find something different. I've been using this one forever. I've never tried any other. If I can't find one, then I'll go ahead and get this one. It's in the shade Ivory 005. This one looks the best on me and it has kind of a pink undertone for my skin they also have like the fit me foundations and everything i personally have never used any of that but people do say that this fit me powder is really good i love the maybelline sky high mascara obviously this is literally everywhere if you have not tried it you should go try it any literal mascara from here is just amazing i remember i used to use this mascara in like middle school it was the goat if you're looking for a mascara i recommend this telescopic from l'oreal it is so good you guys pair it with the sky high one chef's kiss now we are in the CoverGirl aisle. Bought in this like yummy lip gloss before. It is so good, you guys. Like it's super good. It has a lot of product. It's genuinely on the cheaper side. The weird thing about the yummy lip gloss is it does like feel kind of weird on your lip when you first put it on. I don't know how to explain it. The gloss is amazing. The color is amazing. For L'Oreal, they have these True Match concealers. This actually looks really good. I would try the e.l.f. camo concealer. That is just not going to go good for my skin because the products that I use are already glowy and I really want like a, like a full coverage, not as glowy or not as hydrating concealer. Well, keep been wanting to get this e.l.f. lip glow reviver oil. I already love the formula and this one is Honey Talks. It's definitely a darker shade. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the car. I might as well just do it right now. Just get it over with chest, you know, purchase it because I have been wanting it. Obviously, they have all of their other iconic products, makeup brushes, and everything over here. If you're looking for like a natural foundation, or if you don't really like putting on makeup that much, this is amazing. It's so good. Let me go ahead and bite my words up real quick. Camel concealer, they only had it in hydrating, but this one is actually a matte one, and it's a full coverage one, which is something that I've been looking for. So I'm let me just take everything that I said back. I'm gonna get this one. I don't know if it's my shade. Maybe the one that I use is kind of a little bit too light for my skin. It looks on the wider side, so I'm probably gonna get a shade down. This is definitely i don't think this is like yeah i think this is way too dark but we're gonna see i went ahead and found two color options that might be my color we have these two and to me they look pretty similar this one is definitely more lighter and this one's more darker which is kind of weird because this one is a medium warm and this one is a natural beige i don't know which one would be really good for me a little bit lighter than these but like i said i do want my concealer to be a little bit darker this one literally looks like the same shade as my foundation so that's kind of weird i recently purchased these elf bronzing drops and they are amazing 10 out of 10 definitely since it is the summertime and you don't want to go out there wearing a full face or you want to look a bronzy natural dewy get it you want to look a little bit tiny tan get it i actually have them on today i only put like one to two drops and i mix it with my moisturizer it doesn't look like really you know dark or tan on my face but trust I have been seeing everybody get this power grip dewy setting spray and i really do want it if i spend any more money in the makeup section i'm going to go over my budget here we have the little mini section and i really just want to see what they have so they have sugar scrubs like a body oil they have a bunch of actually really cute stuff what is this they have a foot mask last time i was here i was actually gonna get this loops it's a rejuvenating hydro gel eye mask sheet and i regret that i did not get it so this time i'm going to get it i really do want gel eye patches that was on my list they have a bunch of like hair care products mini size hygiene products like this is just like pure gold be careful for the mini scam sometimes because sometimes the products be so tiny and they're like five bucks and then you can buy the full size product for like eight bucks don't save your coin go ahead and just buy the full size product you might as well i've been wanting to try this vanilla whipped she body butter It's just like i'm so tempted to buy this do i need it no do i have a bunch of cream yet yeah. obviously if we're on target we have to smell at least one tree hut sugar scrub this one is blue lagoon that one's like not my favorite let's smell another one peach sorbet i think i've smelled this one before that smells good that smells so good 
I'm gonna have to take off my sweater and do like a thumbnail picture and I feel, <laughs> I feel embarrassed. I feel so embarrassed. Well, first of all, my shirt is like super short. So they have a bunch of these like exfoliating tools. This is like a loofah and a stick so you can like wash your body properly. They have like a bunch of the stuff. And then obviously they have the regular loofah. I believe I have this one. Over here it's like all the vitamins and everything for you. These like little good patches. I feel like these are low-key a scam. Hair, skin, and nails. I actually needed some hair, skin, nail gummies but not for um, 30 bucks. I'm so sorry. The way that I want to get these eye patches so bad. Like I have been seeing these. Oh my gosh. Part of me wants to get them, but then the other part of me is like, okay, it's $24 first of all. This is 30 pairs for $24. I feel like that's a good price though because that's like less than a dollar or like a dollar for one, which is I don't I don't know. I want this body care line so bad. Cashmere vanilla. This is a hand serum. That just looks so bougie, so clean. I feel like if I were to ever get these, I would be like the ultimate clean girl. Like, look at that. If you guys ever see me getting ready and you always wanted to know where I got my big beauty blender from, it's from Target and it's five bucks. This is the job. It is super good and it's humongous and it's huge. We have some good molecules, niacinamide serum, hydrolic acid, wake up eye gel, that's cool. Also have Bioma, love their product, sponsor me, I'm waiting for the sponsorship. I tried this clarifying serum, oh, I'm not gonna open it, actually just right now. I don't know if I should repurchase it because their prices did go slightly up by like almost five bucks, which is, <laughs> to me, it's a lot. It is a good product overall. I cleared it, oh, sorry, no, 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 I'm no, so no, sorry. No, no, no. I overall recommend this product. Just use it consistently because that's something that I definitely did not do. I have this melting cleanser, basically when you have makeup, up, you take it off you do your face wash you're supposed to double cleanse to get rid of all of the oil that's stuck inside your pores i also have this moisturizing gel cream it's gorgeous it's pink it does what it needs to do i currently have it on right now so if you see a subtle glow you can thank this product last time i was here i was looking at these face masks i already tried the blue one so many times we're gonna go ahead and get this silvery one it's like a silver metallic this brand Pacifica, they also have these face masks which are super cute. I actually really am interested in this one, Stress Rehab Coconut and Caffeine. This one is an anti-puff eye patches. These look really cute. These are basically just pimple patches. I recommend the Hero brand, just like the regular one. For me personally, CeraVe did not help out with like my skin problems. I feel like if anything, they made it worse. We all have different skin types, so it obviously varies. I got the hydrating one, which is probably my fault. I probably should have just gotten the original one. If you're looking for a good face wash, this is a purifying a foaming cleanser this one is for normal to oily skin they also have one for dry skin it really just depends what your skin type is but i love la roche pose it's like they're my dream brand to work with so i actually have this one and it's already halfway i'm not going to repurchase it yet but i'm going to need to soon this is their cisaplast bomb i actually had really 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 bad acne over here because i gave myself a chemical reaction burn because i was using the ordinary niacinamide drops and um hyaluronic acid at the same time and toner yeah that was my fault but basically Basically, this really helped me repair my skin barrier and although my skin is not 100% like good it is for the most part way better than what it used to be so I recommend this product this is the only product that got me through literally the worst time of my life checked two things off of the list and now I need two more a strengthening hair mask it's almond that sounds really good as far as like hygiene products i really don't think i need to restock on any i'm just gonna look around the aisle see if i find anything i have never seen this sadie brand before this is just super cute and also this one happy hair people like the packaging is really cute this is my favorite shave cream ever it is so good and it's really cheap yeah it's a sensitive right there they have like razors and everything i don't really use any specific one i know a lot of people use like men's razors to shave but honestly for me it's because I feel like whenever I use men's razors, I always cut myself super easily, even though I'm really careful with it. I'm going to get this Crest 3D White toothpaste because I am in desperate need of this. For me, I find it really beneficial to get like teeth whitening product, but like teeth whitening toothpaste because I do drink a ton of coffee and that can actually really stain your teeth super bad. I really just want to get rid of all of like the decay that's going on. I'm gonna get this battery power toothbrush because regular toothbrushes is not cutting it for me guys I feel like it's not really getting all of like the dirt and the junk out of my teeth We're gonna try this out and it's actually eight bucks. I thought it was going to be more expensive Now I'm gonna look for some vitamins for my hair skin and nails get a biotin because I have not been taking biotin for a good while We are getting this one I feel like I have such little products, but I already feel like I went over budget and I'm so scared. I'm getting this Bloom Super Green packet. I spent 
$84.63 when my budget was literally $130. That makes me so happy that I went under budget and that's crazy because I thought I went over budget. I'm actually going to go to Sephora because I really want to find the Summer Fridays lip balm. Every single time I go, it's always sold out and it says here online that it's in the store. I really want to get it. I'm super nervous and I'm really hoping that they're in stock because I've been trying to get my hands on it. Fridays lip balms and I'm whispering because I don't want to be annoying but like I don't know which one I should get so they have brown sugar pink sugar and they also have vanilla I don't think they have the newest one which is the iced coffee one but that's literally fine I don't know which one I should get though I honestly think I'm just gonna try out the vanilla one but I'm so excited I've always wanted to try this concealer like so bad. I really want to try this one size setting powder, specifically the pink one. I've been seeing so many people use it and I really want it. It is $34. I don't think I'm going to be getting it. I feel like that's a little bit too pricey for me. I'm debating if I should go to Ulta to look for a blush because I really want to find a cute blush, but then I'm like, I'm at this. Are you just overdoing it? We got the lip balm and I'm so excited. I'm also super impatient because I've been wanting this forever. So we're going to open it up in the car and try it on. This was $24. I just want to say so I'm going to be rough on this review, okay? It came with a free sample of their jet lag mask. This actually feels really hydrating on my lips and there's a cute little shine Okay, it smells amazing. But depending how long this lasts, I will decide if it is worth it or not I feel like lately everything is just you know coming out all these brands makeup brands are all releasing new products and everything And although it is fun and cute I just feel like sometimes very overwhelmed with everything Obviously to each their own if you want to go and buy those products go ahead and do that but to me I'm just very careful about what I choose. I don't want to buy something that I don't end up liking I'm gonna give you a haul of everything that I got from Target. First up, I got this Therabreath Anti-Cavity Oral Rinse. I got one of these in a sample at Ulta one time, and I actually really like the way that it's not super strong. It's a really clean formula, and I really like it. It's a cute little mouthwash. I ended up getting this e.l.f. Total Face Brush. This is just to, like, wipe off my setting powder when I'm doing my makeup. Some hair, skin, and nails gummies. This one is actually the Advance, and it has over two times biotin. as 6,000 mcg of biotin, which I desperately need because I really am trying to grow out my hair and my nail. I got this Bloom Super Green Powders. This one is in the flavor pineapple and I'm super excited to try this out. Stay tuned for the vlogs, guys. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead, click the button down below and like this video. Two of these Loops face masks. This one is their Dream Sleep Slugging Mask. Sleep in a barrier that locks in hydration, visibly plumps while you dream. This one is a hydrogel eye patch, which is something that I was actually looking for. So I'm thinking about having a little self-care night. I got this e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil. This is in the shade Honey Talks and it's like this brown undertone elf 16 hour wear camo concealer i know i talked so much smack about it but i was talking smack about the hydrating one not this one i ended up getting this dove body scrub i still have my treat hell one but once i smelled this guys it smells amazing rosy vanilla really florally and i really love the packaging as well it's just to get rid of any dead skin cells on your body i got a vibrating toothbrush very much needed like i needed this so bad it's the oral b deep clean reaches deep to remove a plaque between teeth got this arctic fresh 3d white press last thing i got is this protein shake this is actually not for me it's for my brother that is everything that i got from target i'm super thankful and excited to try all of these new products out thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it to the end comment down below the little self-care girly emoji i love spoiling myself when i feel like i deserve it and this was just much needed overdue but again thank you guys so much for everything i love you and i will see you in my next video bye